All right, 17th beat waffle. All right, welcome back, guys. My name is Flash Century. Today we're at the Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia, for the Spanish Grand Prix. Everything's in order, so let's go to qualifying. All right, here we go. Gotta say it's probably one of the worst tracks, but I'm gonna try. Also, as I'm recording this, this. Grand Prix in real life actually just happened. Oh. Well. That was short. Yeah, I wasn't lying when I said this was my, my worst, one of my worst tracks. Well, I am willing to at least try to see what where we could have ended up if we, we didn't mess up right there. So I would have gotten uh, 123.2, I believe. Mustafa finished, well, qualified 16th. So qualifying is complete and, we're all set for an and would I have beaten him at least? Nope, I wouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind those sirens. I'll go away pretty soon. All right, listen to voicemail. Let's go. Finish 19th again. I beat Waffle. I know. Okay. Oh, luckily, we didn't mess up the gearbox too much, so hopefully it doesn't glitch up on me in this race. Ten four, and uh, speaking of glitching, you guys might have noticed that uh, in some of the recent recordings I've done that uh, it's it's, it's kind of been really bad when it comes to glitching. So I'm not sure how to fix that. If I even can fix it, so. I guess I'm just going to deal with it for the time being. So I'm going to do a reverse strategy. I'm going to be starting on the mediums, going to the softs. Actually, can I... No, that wouldn't make any wouldn't make better. So yeah, going to lap 9 on the mediums. Yeah, this will be faster. Alright, let's go. And here we are for the start of the Spanish Grand Prix, or the Spanish Grand Prix as the, as the Twitter for Formula One called it. And we're off in Barcelona. And we're way in the back for this first turn. Alright, you hear that? We're very concerned about gearbox wear. Ugh. Yeah, and in this game, if you wear out the gearbox too much, you'll end up st starting to shift into random gears at random times. And it's very annoying. Ugh, come on. Help a teammate out, man. Give me some room. Ugh, thank you. Oh, still battling. Thank you! I almost won. Oh. That was tight. That was tight. Not a good way. Oh! Sorry, Palmer. Whew. Yeah, this circuit is not one of my best or my favorite. But I'm gonna try my best here. Oh, I hate this turn. I hate that chicane. It is so bad. Who dares? Oh, Palmer. Oh, funny thing I just learned about Formula One in, in general. See that T-bar on top of my car right there? With the yellow lines on it? 
Well, the yellow lines actually indicate that uh, I'm the second driver of my team. Which, duh, is only my fifth race in my career. So I would be the second driver. Plus, I haven't really outperformed Stop all uh, much. At least not to the point where they would promote me. But yeah, I just learned that. So, if you ever see any yellow stripes on the top of the car, on the T-bar thing, that's the second driver for the team. Oh, come on, Palmer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Palmer has those yellow stripes on his car, too. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that Nico Hulkenberg is better, but he's better. There's <laughs> no denying it. Ugh. Oh, I hate that turn so much. But yeah, like I was saying, the uh, actual Spanish Grand Prix actually happened uh, this past weekend that I'm recording this. It's uh, been a while since I recorded the Russian Grand Prix, which I haven't even uploaded as of this point in real time. But it's going to come up before this one. I know that for sure. Why is my car so tight? It's like it's understeering on me. I don't have any damage, do I? I don't remember hitting anyone. All that hard. Yet. Palmer. Yeah, just take the position. Right now I have damage. Uh, confirm change. Confirm change. Hi. Yeah, I got something in my eye too. This is really turning into the Australian Grand Prix all over again. I gotta wipe my eye. Ugh. And what's even better is the next race is the Monaco Grand Prix, which is so much better. That track is very tight. It doesn't allow for a lot of error. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I ended up DNFing in there. Monaco. Alright, so I'm not going to repeat what I tried to do in Australia, which was stay in rich mix the whole way through. Try and catch up on speed. I'm just going to stay in standard and just try to catch up to him naturally. Which I probably will not. Holy. This thing gets squirrely. Yeah, her hairpin. <laughs> I gotta get the, some upgrades on this car pronto. Otherwise, uh, I'm not gonna have a good time. You know, I'm gonna put in a rich for the straightaways just so I can get some straightaway speed at least. Go down the lean. These turns. So I can get some sort of grip on these hard tires. Oi. The gap to the car ahead is 36.8 seconds. Thank you. Needed that information. I already know that he's way ahead of me. Oh, all the guys that started on softs should be pitting soon. Wait, is that the leader? Oh, jeez. I get distracted for one corner. I almost want to crash out at this point. Blue flag. Wow, it's the first time getting blue flag in this series. Go by, go by me. Is that Raikkonen? I can't even tell from here. Yes, yeah, Raikkonen! I don't want to crash into him. And I crash into him anyway.
You make it sound like I'm doing it on purpose. I can imagine what Kimmy is saying about me on his radio. Hey, who's, who's on that McLaren? Uh, he's getting in my way. Please tell him to move out of my way. I'm not very good at imitating Kimmy Raikkonen. Well, that's my best effort. Ooh, airplane. I guess my best bet for getting my uh, race goal is to hope that someone crashes out or blows an engine or something. Are they going to the pit? Yeah, they went into the pits. Well, that's a lucky break for me, I guess. So it should mean that everyone else should be pitting soon. Yep, Stoffel's in the pits, so it means most of the guys that start on a soft tires. Golly bum. Hoy. I can imagine what my tire wear looks like right now. Jeez. Yeah, you guys way. Oh, I can't even turn at all. Ugh. Your lap times are falling off. We want you to pit in for repairs. Box, box, box. I know. Jeez, Jeff. You know, I'm literally the Sergei Sorokin of this season. Oh, come on. Now a virtual safety car comes out. Or a safety car at all. Complete, go now. Oh, please tell me someone like blew an engine or something so I can at least take that spot. No. No retirements at all. Someone at least blow a tire. Ending, oh, that didn't last long. Still no retirements. There's a the yellow flag on uh was that turn one? No, that can't be turned on. That's have, that's gonna be like turn four. I have to be able to pass someone. At least for position. Oh, it's Reichen in! Oh wow. Uh Sorry, Mr. Raikkonen. I didn't mean to hurt your car that badly. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Yeah, it's gotta be Kimmy. There's no way he would be in 19th place otherwise. Yep, it was him. Uh, poor Iceman. Well, at least I'm guaranteed to finish my goal position now. For the race, at least. The car behind has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. Yeah, about the car behind. It's kind of out of the race, so I don't think we need to worry about him. So I guess I'm just on a Sunday drive for the rest of this race. I don't think I'm actually in a fight for position. Actually, I think I'm still lapped down. Even with the Raikkonen. Yeah, I'm definitely a lap down because everyone else passed me. So I may just uh, spare you guys the wait and just fast forward to the end of the race because I'm pretty sure I'm not, nothing, nothing exciting is going to happen to the end of the race. I'm going to catch up to these guys. I'm going to up to these guys. Oh, jeez. This is a big battle that I'm going to mess up.
I really want to crash to a wall right now, but I'm afraid of what it's going to do to my gearbox. And I need to use that thing for one more race before I take it out and replace it. And of course, the next race is Monaco. So even if it does survive this race, I'm pretty sure it's not going to survive too long in Monaco. And for a faster car, quote unquote, sure isn't getting away from me. Oh, you locked him up. I'll take that. Thank you. You know it's time for a position. Don't care. Oh, come. What? How did he catch up to me that quickly? It's really his last sector that I really hate the most. All these sharp turns and downhill and uphill turns. It's really, really dumb track design. I don't even know what they were going for, this track. I mean, I know that they use this track for testing every year, but why? You know, that one season when my car is actually good, that I'm able to just take this track by storm. And not even care about how sharp and uphilly and downhilly these turns are. Because I'll be in the front. In front of all the Lewis Hamiltons and Kimi Raikkonens and Sebastian Vettels and. Yeah. Now, speaking of Sebastian Vettel, congrats, Seb. You got your, like, 100,000th win in your career. No, sorry, that's Lewis Hamilton. You have 900,000 in your career. Or whatever, 90,000. There's a joke there. I just didn't make it properly. Oh, and thank my tall, pale principal. This is over. Oi. No, I'm just gonna crash into a wall. I think I've been wanting to for had this race. Alright, and with that, we finish 19th with four time penalties. Wonderful. And in the standings, we're still 9th in driver standings, and constructors, McLaren is still 5th. So thank you, Stoffel, for not helping at all. Again. But yeah, I am. I am really feel like the uh, Sergey Sorokin of this career mode. The only difference is I actually have points. <laughs> I say that now, and I'm probably gonna get like points at Monaco, knowing my luck. So yeah, that's gonna end today's video of Flash Century's F1 career with McLaren and Honda. And hope to see you guys next time. I think we're going to Monaco next time. Yep, we're going to Monaco. Great. So see you guys then. I'm Flash Sentry, and I'll see you.